Hello! It is September. I cannot believe how quickly this year has just been flying by. But it's September and so today I wanted to share with you our um, toddler learning basket or what do they call it? Uh, morning basket <laughs> um, geared towards toddlers, geared towards things that are and going to gauge her and help her learn. Um, we actually don't do our basket in the morning. That's why I normally call it a learning basket. Um, we normally do it some point throughout our day, typically actually in the afternoon when she wakes up from her nap because that's when she's the most cuddly. You want to do this with your toddler when they're the most cuddly because this is going to be their time of like read alouds and things like that and you want them to be a little bit more cuddly, I guess. <laughs> and so... Here's our basket. I'll explain you everything inside. Got this basket for $5 at five below. And it's actually really super, super sturdy, which is why I like it. So our main two learning books for this month is Circles. We've been working on shapes um, and this book has a whole series of books that go over all the different shirt shapes. But what's cool about these books is not only does it go through the shapes, but it explains like where you see them out and about in everyday life. And I think that's really important for kids to know that it's not just you can draw a circle and this is what a circle looks like on a piece of paper, but that you see them all throughout your life. Like a pizza is a circle. Um, I think it makes the shapes really come alive. So we have that in here. Now, this book, I was so excited to find. I've never heard of these books before, but it's called The Countries We Come From um, series. And this one is Laos. And it has all of these different countries on the back. I was excited to see Laos because most people had never even heard of Laos. Um, we lived in Southeast Asia for three years and we are going back. And so I want my kids to really have a good world knowledge, not just about what America's like, but what about, about what um, a lot of the countries are like. And this book really does that. And like I said, they have so many different countries. Laos is a country in Southeast Asia. And in this book, they show all of these different things. Like it starts off with three words that describe Laos or whatever country you choose. And it's tropical, wild, and full of wonder. And then it's got pictures from the country. It talks about um, a lot of good information, but in small snippets. And so it's like, okay, it's a communist country. It got its independence in 1953, um, which obviously... A toddler isn't going to grasp in 1953, but just lots of little tidbits. It talks about some of their festivals, and it talks about their food and different things like that, and it's got fun facts. Laos is home to Southeast Asia's largest waterfall, and it's bigger than the Niagara Falls. And so it's got all these facts. I'm excited that we found this book, and I plan on getting probably, honestly, all the books in this series because I love it so much. Next, I'm sure you've all seen this before, but it's White Clean Book. This one is by Pretty Books, um, and this one is Pen Control. We've been working on that a lot. And so, you know, how to draw different lines, how to loop-de-loop, -loop, um, get the baby chicken to the mama chicken, how to draw shapes. And then it even goes into animals and how to draw animals and boats and cars and stuff. The one thing I will say is disappointing about this book and something you need to know if you have one of these books is that it does not work with just any dry erase marker. I used other dry erase markers on it and as you can see, it doesn't come off. It would have maybe come off if I wiped it like right that second, but I didn't. I left it sit, which with this marker, that works just fine. You can wipe it off at any time. I didn't. And as you can see, because we had colored markers, and she wanted to try color markers on them. I scrubbed this for like 30 minutes and that's the best I could do. So um, that was kind of disappointing. Only use the pen that it comes with or if you're gonna use a different pen, wipe it off right away. So another thing that we have in here are feeling flashcards. They're not flashcards, they're little circle felt. They're felt pieces. 
They're actually from the Target Dollar Spots um, felt calendar setup, and we use these not every day, like maybe twice a week, and we've done it for maybe three weeks, and she knows all of these. You can show her any one, and she'll be able to tell you what the expression is. Um, but it's lots of cute expressions, happy, sad, surprised, worried. Um, so we threw those in there, and we talk about feelings with her with those. And then I've got two sets of flashcards in there. ABCs. I know that there are a million and one fancy flashcards that you can get for the ABCs. If you have a toddler that is just starting out, you really, all you need and what is going to work best for your toddler is a white, white with black writing. That they can differentiate it the easiest. It's the easiest for them to actually see the shape and stuff and not get distracted by Oh, I'm also learning colors, and I'm also learning shapes. And is this a color or a shape, or what is this that I'm looking at? Um, just the actual letters. These are just, um, what are these called? Post, not postcards, index cards. These are just index cards. And so, and we actually are not studying A, B, C, D. I do do that with some other activities, but with these, I am studying A, B, with her and um, that helps her to be able to pronounce more words because we're practicing all the different sounds that these alphabet letters can make. And it also, I feel like it's going to help her understand that letters make sounds. Um, and so that is what we do with these. These I actually got at Aldi's. Um, it was a pack of four flashcards, numbers, shapes, colors, and I think one was letters, but I didn't use that. But we have one through 10. And then we have shapes. I don't know if I'm showing this good shapes. And then colors, which is what I put on here. And we just quickly go through one, two, three, and she repeats after me. Um, and it's just good to just get her familiar with it. Most of the shapes, she's actually gotten very good at her shapes, so most of her shapes I won't even say. I'll just show her the card and she's able to say that shape. So next, I can link this below. This is called Q-Bits Junior, and it's this little wooden thing with these little wooden blocks. And it comes with um, these cards that have a design on them, and um, it's a challenge, and it, your toddler is supposed to try and make this challenge with the blocks. Um, we have quite a few of the smart games for Aria, which I plan on making a video about, but this one is by far the most challenging, which is why it's in our learning box, because I want her to see it every day, work on it a little bit every day, and it's something that she needs help with. Because her other smart games, she can probably do rather independently. I'll help her here and there, but for the most part, she gets it. This one is really, really challenging to her. Um, and I think for one thing, it's because it's black and white on here, and here is purple and white. Um, and so it's not 100% exactly the same. And it's just um, reasoning and logic that's just hard for a, a two-year-old and how do you make this shape with these blocks? And so we put this in here for her every day. So we have the My Wonderful Nursery Rhyme Collection. This was part of the curriculum that we got her. This was their suggested book for nursery rhymes. Um, I love doing nursery rhymes with Aria. And this is a good book, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Um, I would recommend having a nursery rhyme book, um, something with pictures that she or your child can look at. And I'm going to look into other books because I really want there to be nursery rhymes during our learning time. Um, and this one is good because it has um, the songs, action ones, animal ones, and game ones that you actually have like a game to go along with it. So it has a lot in here. The pictures are not too bad. But what I don't really like about it, if you there's a lot of nursery rhymes in here that aren't like super, super popular. And so there's a lot of them in here that I don't know. 
and she watches, she's been watching nursery rhyme videos like her entire life. And I've never heard them on any of the nursery rhyme videos. So like, I really don't know them and I don't know how they're supposed to go. And so I would have to spend time like looking them up on YouTube to like figure out how um, to do them. And so that's something I don't really like about it. The other thing that I don't really like about it, this is just kind of a more old school word that was okay old school wise, but just in our current generation just isn't entirely socially acceptable. And it's in this book a lot. And that is the P-U-S-S-Y word. Um, it's referring to a cat in in this book. Um, but I don't, it just doesn't sound nice to me. And it is all throughout this book. There are tons and tons of rhymes about that cat, or it doesn't even have the word cat. It just has that word. And that just, I don't really want my child to say that or like learn that word and walk around saying it. So yeah, it's in here. I do use it with her, um, but I honestly don't recommend it. There's lots of nursery rhyme books out there. I don't recommend this one. Um, we have poetry. Um, and so this is What's Your Favorite Color? And it's got all of these different famous people came together and they each write about one color. And so learning colors, um, this is supposed to be for that, but like here's blue. And so Brian Collier wrote um, about blue and how he goes and gets his daughter blue balloons on blue days. And um, it's just a cute, cute little book discussing different colors. Like this one's indigo and purple and gray and just these different um, poems. Some of them are just like one line sentences about the color, but most of them are like little poems or, or things. Um, about the colors and so Aria is actually really enjoying this book and she requests me to read it like over and over and over again and last but definitely not least um, something that I like to do for our morning basket or learning basket is our family will have a theme for that month and for that theme for that month I try and have one book that's going to go along with that theme for that month so this month our family theme is um, thankfulness, being thankful for things. And so every morning I'm writing down three things that I'm thankful for that day um, and encouraging my toddler to do that too. That's a little harder. And so this book, Thank You God, I found at the library and I love, I'm probably going to go and purchase this book because I love it so much. Um, it is by Bradley Wigger. Um, it's really beautifully illustrated. And it goes through like just all the different things to be thankful for. And so in this first page, look at how beautiful that illustration is. It's just so beautiful. And it's, thank you, God, for the sun smiling on our earth to wake up the day for the light opening my eyes to see all that you have made. And so once again, this is also poetry working rhyming um, a lot of the words rhyme I don't know if it was like meant for that but a lot of the words rhyme it's poetic um, and it just goes through all the things that that you can be thankful for and thank God for and so we've been doing this book with her and talking about thankfulness during our circle time learning time learning basket time whatever you want to call it <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I'll be coming out with a series soon on all the different learning activities that I do with her. This was just our basket, which is what we do in the afternoon. But um, I also do learning activities with her probably an hour to two hours every morning as well. So I'm going to make a series of um, learning activities to do with your toddler. So be looking out for that so soon. Subscribe so you don't miss it and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Bye!